Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see one more concept in discrete mathematics that is well formed formula. So in our previous sessions we have seen what is a proposition and what is an atomic proposition and what is a composite or a compound proposition and we usually call them as a formula and now we will see how we can say that is a well formed formula. Right? Yes. Let's start the session. Well formed formula. You can also call it as W F F. Now let us see what is this well formed formula. Okay. So this well formed formula is an expression. Expression with variables so what is what are these variables in discrete mathematics so these variables represents the proposition so we have studied that a proposition is a statement which will be having either true or a false so that will be usually represented with a capital letters so those letters we call it as a variables right variables Parenthesis, and connectives. So also we have seen a different connectives, right? Also we have seen a different connectives. So negation, in order to form a compound or a composite proposition, so we are going to use these connectives like conjunction, disjunction, okay. Uh, next negation so all these are a different connectives implies okay double implies all these are a different connectives right so if any formula or if any expression having all the variables parentheses as well as the connectives that we will be calling it as a well formed formula right see example p implies Q. So this is also a well formed formula because we are having connective and variables and and Q implies P. So this is also a well formed formula because we are using the parentheses, connective and different uh, variables, right? So this is a well formed formula. So how can we say that the given formula is a well formed? So, rules. What are the rules? The first rule is the variable, standalone variable itself can be treated as a well formed formula. So, we can say simple or atomic propositions. Simple or atomic propositions will be considered as well formed formula. So what is an example for this one? So obviously it will be P, Q, R, etc. So these letters we usually represent for a simple propositions. So those simple propositions will be considered as a well formed formula and the second step if if a proposition is well formed formula then its negation is also be well formed formula so if the the simple or atomic propositions are a well formed formula then their negations will also be in well formed formula so example you can say a negation p negation q negation r and so on so in the first step we have seen p q r these are all the well formed formula then automatically negation p negation q negation r will also be the well form of formula and the third one third one 
on composite propositions with connectives or all propositions yeah all composite propositions with connectives are also well formed formula so all the composite propositions obviously if p q r are all uh, the simple propositions if you place some sort of compose i mean some sort of connectives in between the propositions that will becomes composite propositions and all the composite propositions will also be under well formed formula example p implies q p or q p and q example all these composite propositions will also be in well formed formula right so these are the three rules one is the simple propositions negation of their propositions and all the composite propositions formed from the given uh, well formed formula propositions right now we'll see what are the sample formulas which are well formed and which are not well formed so i'll write here i will write here examples examples see p i will write one first example p implies q okay so this is a well formed formula it is a well formed formula for example p implies q r this is not well formed formula because so in between q and r here q is one proposition and r is another proposition so in between q and r there should be one connective so if there is no connective automatically that will be a, not a well formed formula and the third one p implies so always you are giving implies let it be p and q and r so this is also a well formed formula so there there can be this one right p and q and r let us move on with this one so negation p or q implies so this is not a well formed formula because so here implies is a connective and after connective there should be one proposition and next one p and q this one so this is also not a well formed formula because there are two parentheses so if it doesn't forms a valid expression that implies that is a non not a well formed formula if it occupies or if it so one thing you just remember if it is a composite proposition you have to maintain the parentheses you have to enclose that formula in a parentheses for example let us take this one so p and q so this is a compound proposition and try to give the parentheses for any compound proposition that forms the well formed formula well formed formula so for example let us take negation p and q so there will be some sort dilemma that if the negation is for complete composite proposition or negation is for only uh, proposition p so that's why so you need to use parentheses so that implies negation is implied or negation is for only proposition p or negation of p and q so this is also a well formed formula so if you are not giving the parentheses for any compound proposition that doesn't becomes a well formed formula remember that one right so if it is a composite proposition composite proposition so you have to include that in parentheses right so this is a simple thing so a formula is a well formed formula if the expression is having the variables or 
parenthesis and the characters right so three rules to say whether the given formula is a well formed formula or not right so let's stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much